I'm going to show how to check the water pressure on a home water supply system that has a municipal supply. I do this test once a year and record my readings. I have a water pressure test gauge. I recommend using a gauge that has a high pressure indicator hand. That's the red hand on this gauge. It will remain at the highest pressure reading reached on the gauge. Water pressure test gauges are inexpensive and can be found at any local hardware store. To get an accurate reading, you'll need to know some things about the water supply system. Find a location where the municipal water supply enters your home. If you don't know where it's located, if you finish watching this video, click on the channel name, Know How Now, and look for the video titled Find Main Water Supply Valve. After the main shutoff valve and the water meter, you may find a water pressure regulator. If the municipal water pressure is too high, a water pressure regulator lowers and controls the pressure to a level that prevents damage to the house water supply. Attach the water pressure test gauge to an outdoor faucet. The gauge can also be attached to a washing machine shutoff valve or the drain connection on a hot water heater. If your system has a water regulator, ensure that the faucet is downstream from the regulator. Occasionally, an outside water faucet may be on a separate line from the water pressure regulator. If you have one, zero out the high pressure indicator hand. Two conditions must be met to get an accurate static pressure reading. There should be no water flowing, uh, all spigots closed, and water using fixtures turned off. The other is that the water heater is not in its reheat cycle. When water is heated, it expands in volume and causes the water pressure to rise. Open the spigot. Normal water pressure should be a low of 35 to 40 pounds to a high of 80 pounds. Most local and national building codes require that if the pressure is over 80 pounds that a water pressure regulator be installed. For optimal water conservation, the pressure should be 50 to 60 pounds. If the water pressure is above or below the normal ranges and a water pressure regulator is installed, the regulator can be adjusted or perhaps it has failed. I have an open system and my water pressure regulator has a thermal bypass. I like to ensure that the thermal bypass is working. I adjust the red pointer back to the static pressure and keep the water pressure test gauge attached for two days. I record the highest pressure indicated by the red pointer for that two day period. The highest pressure should be well below the 150 pound rating typically found on a water heater's temperature and pressure relief valve. A high reading could indicate a problem with a faulty thermal expansion tank or the thermal bypass. An unusually high pressure reading should not be ignored. Water heaters can explode due to excessive pressure. I hope you found this video helpful. A thumbs up is always appreciated. Other videos about water supply systems can be found by clicking on the channel name Know How Now and thanks for watching.